you organize us in this an opportunity. Wonderful, wonderful. And when I give some talk, and particularly the Nalinda tradition, the differences is a Pali tradition, mainly, you see, uh, believe or accept uh, Buddha's word. And then the Sanskrit tradition, Nalanda tradition, uh, always raise question, why, 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 why? Uh, even Buddha's own sort of word, words, uh, we uh, take the sort of uh, liberty, the, liberty, no? or questioning why, why, why. So, like Nagarjuna and a Buddha Balida and the Chandrakirti, many of these master is a make distinction. Buddha's own word, such such Buddha's word. Oh, we can accept such such Buddha's word. The Buddha taught according particular sort of audience. So according their mentality, he taught that. We, but basically, we cannot accept. So Buddha himself, you see, uh, give permission. Permission or I don't know. He mentioned, oh, my follower, monks, scholars, should not accept my teaching out of faith, but rather thorough investigation and experiment. So Buddha himself give us liberty to investigate. <laughs> <laughs> Although I respect all major world tradition, over a thousand years, you see, these different traditions really helped humanity in order to increase human loving kindness. Oh, wonderful. But in the philosophical field, uh, Buddhism is something quite unique. Uh, Buddha, you see, give us encourage, encouragement. Encouragement, Lord. You see? Oh, question, 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 question. So in order to utilize human brain fully, the word why, 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 that's very important. No. The word yes, yes, yes. Not good. <laughs> so I really appreciate you see, your sort of firstly your organization. Really last now few years. Uh, I think the, that because of create opportunity meeting with number of scientists. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. So now uh, when I met you see my long time friend, you see everybody how many, many my friend looks old. <laughs> so, so so when I saw you see my friend now become old, so then I must reflect myself also become old. <laughs> but okay. The other day, I mentioned to some my Indian friend, uh, my energy, like lake, you see, difficult, because all my energy goes to my brain. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I think next uh, few years, I think another 10, 15, even 20 years, I will remain. I will be active, even on wheelchair. <laughs> no, physically on wheelchair, but my mouth. Bal, 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 bal. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Good morning, Your Holiness. Mind and Life is so happy to be back with you, and we are grateful 
and humble to be here in your home again. And you are part of the Mind and Life family, and we are here. Mind and Life is here because of you. And I think firstly, you are yes. really yeah. your, your husband, Ninja. Yeah, Varela, no. Varela, Ninja. Usually, Varela is express two head. Uh, one, one head, Buddhist head. Then he explain some Buddhist ideas. Then another head, science head. <laughs> then you see explaining uh, about the science. Right? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. You're wonderful. His picture always in my room. I often look. Thank you. Hmm? Yeah. And we are happy and so happy that you're in great health and your mind is working as sharply as ever. <laughs> so, you know, it has been over 30 years that you've been engaged in conversations with scientists and other thought leaders with Mind and Life, and we're so happy that you're continuing again. And this work, and today we're doing a little bit different format than we have before. We're calling these conversations. And the theme for today, this morning, and Friday morning, we, we meet together. And right. the theme, the overall theme, is compassion, interconnectedness, mm -hmm. and transformation. And this theme is really central to Mind and Life's work right now. Pretty much all of our programs and the grants that we're giving are lifting up this theme of interconnectedness and societal transformation. So we're going to deepen that during, during our time together here. And the speaker um, this morning is David Sloan Wilson. And I will say more about David. Uh, David is a very esteemed evolutionary biologist. He is a distinguished professor in, in New York at Binghamton University, president of an organization called the Evolution Institute. And his perspective on evolution is very hopeful. It gives us a hopeful perspective for the human species and the planet. So I think you're going to be a very rich discussion between the two of you. But before David begins, Your Holiness, would you like to begin and share some, some more words? As I often use expressing the very purpose of this kind of meeting. Number one, expand our knowledge. Uh, it seems to me the modern science in world with physical, uh, say, atom or quark in these fields, you see, they are sort of, uh, as a result of research, so very detailed, very precise explanation. Now when uh, the subject about mind, emotion, then the science field not adequate. So, so we need more work uh, about inner world, about mind. So that's one of our purpose is ex expansion or sort of knowledge. knowledge. Uh, then another sort of purpose is why, why we are sort of talking, I feel, today's world. Materials, and also even scientific sort of research, scientific knowledge highly developed. Uh, and with that, economy and many things highly developed. Yet, the real question of amount of human happiness and the world itself, now a lot of problems. 
many of these problems is, is actually our own creation. So, now today's world, uh, global warming, and to some extent, beyond our control. Uh, but many other problems, uh, for example, the, the problem due to huge gap, rich and poor, national level, uh, global level, and then war. You see, the knowledge about uh, through science, you see, use for killing. Very sad. And then ex existing situation is we too much sort of emphasis, we and they. Uh, on that basis, even religious faith also causing problem. At this very moment, we enjoy peace, peaceful sort of atmosphere. But same time, same planet, same human being, even in the name of religion, killing each other. Syria, now Afghanistan, and this Arab area. So this, our own creation. So it is our responsibility how to make some contribution to reduce this killing, violence, and this suffering. Since this problem, human creation, so logically, we human beings have the ability to uh, solve them, reduce this problem. If not, because of the eliminate, uh, eliminate, or uh, eliminate. So that's our, our main sort of purpose. Number of occasion. Uh, some scientists mentioned basic human nature since we are social animal. That is true. You see, each individual's survival depends on the community. Oh, since we are social animal, therefore, compassion by nature, we human beings have that. So basic human nature is more compassionate. That's really a hopeful sign. Now the mistake is education system, existing education system, very much oriented about the material value, including science. <laughs> External science, not in, inside science, so, because inner science. Inner science. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, since therefore, now time come, we must, uh, make effort to educate human being uh, the importance of the warm-heartedness. This human marvelous brain, brain. must come combined. combined with warm-heartedness. If this wonderful brain combined with anger, fear, then become destructive. So this brain should combine with home heartedness. That not through teaching religion love. or religion, but now scientific sort of research. And now as I mentioned earlier, scientists some scientists say, you see, constant anger or hatred is very bad for our health. I think according to my own little experience, I think the a uh, compassionate mind more practice that then the whole phenomena appears something very positive that reduce fear or suspicion so too much self-centered attitude then uh, this side also you see you suspicion. get some suspicion here also suspicion Altruism, entire 
sentient being, uh, particularly seven billion human being. We are the same. One human community. We have to live side by side on this planet. Then you see, uh, killing each other uh, makes sort of the creation we strong we and they is very short sighted, narrow minded, old thinking. Now today's world, entire seven billion human beings are one human community, live on one planet. So now these things through scientific sort of uh, basis explain, I think, you see, more people I think more conviction, rather than uh, religious sort of spiritual leaders say that, 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 that. Religion, of course, still many people get some benefit, but uh, 7 billion, I think over 1 billion non-believer, true. And among the believer also, you see, too much concept of we and they and killing each other. <laughs> Very sad, very, very sad. Like that. So that's our main sort of one, one, one purpose is to promote human value and ethics, value, ethics, very much related to it. Um, okay. Thank you, Your Holiness. Hmm?